alternating which arm goes on top. And breathing. Don't forget that piece. All right. I will be reminding you Stop. as we go through Exercise. to continue the breathing. Sometimes people tend to hold their breath. So we are going to continue breathing, opening up that chest. All right, we're gonna do what I call tick tocks. We're gonna raise one leg out to the side. Begin set Arms two. Arms go to the opposite side. Little balance here. Great. Making sure again, the knees are soft. Starting to think about focusing on that core, pulling that navel in. We're gonna be focusing on the core throughout as we always do. And the breathing. Great. Nice, ladies. Little Stop. balance. Exercise. All right, we're going to do now a little punch march. Knees right in front of the hip, punching across the body. Again, thinking about focusing on those abs on that. Begin set three. Twist from the waist. Punch, punch. There we go. Nice. A little vigorous punch there, working those arms. Compound movement, warming up, getting that heart rate up a little bit, prepping those muscles. Nice. And breathing, don't forget that. Stop, exercise. All right, our last warm up is going to be a booty kick, opening up that chest. So think about that heel coming up towards the booty, opening up that chest at the same time. So we got a little hamstring activation there, dynamic quad stretch, opening up that chest. Begin set four. <sighs> Breathing throughout, chest is up. <sighs> nice. Woo! Getting ready for our first exercise, which is going to be a sumo squat. If you've got some little weights or any kind of weights, please grab them. We are going to do some arm curls with the sumo squats if you can. And anybody who has trouble with the sumo squat can either do a regular squat or some leg lifts or a wall sit, okay? Think Stop okay. exercise and switch right. to the next station. So I'm going to grab my little weights here. Remember with the sumo squat, feet are nice and wide. You're gonna focus on pushing the knees out. Chest stays up. We're gonna start with the arms here. And we're gonna just go up and down with the sumo squat. Begin set one. Like this, keeping an isometric hold with the arms, all right? Small movement, so unlike a regular squat where you're trying to push your hips back, remember the sumo squat, you're pushing your knees apart, focusing on the inner thighs and glutes. All right, still focusing on that core engagement. And right now we've got an isometric biceps hold. All right, and you're breathing. Great. We will be having our regular breaks. If you feel like, oh, I don't really need a break, Stop. feel free to go Exercise. through, okay? Otherwise we're shaking it out. Second set, we're gonna do some arm curls. Elbows stay right by the body. And we're gonna do alternating, dynamic. We got one isometric hold of the arms. Says two. One arm is isometrically holding, the other one dynamically moving. Still working those biceps as we're focusing on inner thighs and glutes on that squat. Great. Breathing throughout. And you can make any of these moves as small as you need to. If you need to make it a little smaller movement, if you start to say, oh, I feel something in my knee, go ahead and rein it in a little bit. Don't go down quite as far. And that holds for a lot of the exercises we're gonna be Stop. doing. exercise. Great, shake it out. All right, hopefully you're feeling those inner thighs and glutes. We're gonna do some pulses this time. Shoulders down, small movement. Again, wide legs if you can. Here's our pulse. Begin set three. And let's go ahead, if you want to increase it a little bit, increase the level of difficulty, you're going to alternate arms simultaneously, okay? 
I'm just gonna give you options here. Feel free if you wanna hold it here. This feels like a little bit too much, depending on the weight you have, if you've got weight. Tomato cans I used in the early sessions, whatever you have around the house, if you don't have regular weights, will work just fine. Ah, all right, so we got inner thighs, we got glutes, we got abs engaged, and we got Stop biceps working. Fantastic, shaking those legs out. We have one more set of these ladies. Woo, okay, I'm feeling the heat here. All right, again, make sure those shoulders are relaxed, head and neck is nice and relaxed, not involved in this exercise. All right, here we go. Again, pulsing Begin if you're able. Four. Pulsing simultaneously, alternating those arm curls. Pushing those knees apart, making sure those knees are not going beyond the foot, as with any squat, all right? So it's kind of an up and down movement. Inner thighs and glutes. Breathing throughout, fantastic. All right, hopefully you're really feeling those inner thighs and glutes. I know I am, biceps, working hard. Almost the break, ladies. Woo! Stop exercise. All right, fantastic. We're going to do some wall push ups next. I'm going to do some endurance push ups today as I've been doing um, in a couple of sessions. As many reps as you can, first two sets. Take that break if you need it. All right? In a plank position, abs and glutes nice and engaged here. Hands just outside the one. shoulders. And here we go. And rep or as many reps as possible. All right? With good form. Should any of you have trouble with the wall push-up, you can do a chest press lying down, or you can do some triceps kickbacks or skull crushers, okay? All right, continuing through, ladies. Chest and triceps working hard as you're engaged. Head and neck in that nice neutral position. Stop exercise. All right, do we need a break? Take a break if you need it. Otherwise, we're going to push through here. Endurance push-ups. Here we go. Shoulders stay down. Chest and triceps. Exhaling as you push away. Begin set two. Great job, ladies. Woo! Should be feeling those chest and triceps now. Again, abs stay engaged. Let's stay nice and tight. We're going to appreciate this break coming up. If we just keep going now. Keep going. Exhaling. Almost the break, ladies. Stop. Exercise. All right. Fantastic. Take that break. Shake those arms out. Well done. Woo. All right. We're going to slow down our pace on these push ups. Slow and controlled lowering, slow and controlled coming up, all right? Again, taking the break, optional here, all right? Begin set three. Here we go. Slowly lowering to a count of maybe five here, and then slowly coming up as you exhale. Woo, so more control, still have that perfect play. Inhaling as you come down. Five seconds, hold, slowly coming up. Woo! Great. And continuing through. Stop exercise. Nice. Now, if you need a break, please take a break. We are gonna do a triceps push-up for the last one, which is a little more focused on the triceps with arms closer together. Elbows are in, hands closer together. Here we go, slow and controlled. Begin set four. And slowly pushing away. Ah, a little bit harder now. Focusing on those triceps. Shoulders are down. And exhale, pushing away. Woo! Feeling it. Here's your inhale, slow and control. Keep that form, ladies. Great work. Woo! Nice, you might have time for one more. Halfway maybe. Stop ah, exercise great. and switch to the next station. Fantastic. Okay, we are now gonna do a 
standing leg abduction. All right, what does that mean? A full balance, um, lower, little lower body, hip and glute. Standing leg is soft. So abs are engaged. Begin set one. We're gonna just do a little leg lift here and down. Up and down. Now, should you need more support, feel free to hold on to a chair here or a wall, okay? Um, and if you don't need to touch down, you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can leave that leg up, okay? Small movement here. I have a weight in the other hand, which we're gonna utilize in just a second for those who would like. Great. Chest stays up, small movement, hip and glute targeted here. Woo! Again, feel free to touch Stop down if exercise. you need to, okay? Same thing, other side. Standing leg is soft, so no lockout knee here. And up and either touch down or keeping that leg up. Here we go, small movement. Begin set two. Nice. Working on that balance. Remember, with any balance exercise, it helps to focus on something in front of you. So staring at something that's not moving is helpful. Great. And hopefully you're feeling that hip and glute. I know I am. Woo! Fantastic, ladies. Almost to the break. Nice. Stop exercise. Okay. For those of you who say, oh, I can do that, not that big of a deal. We're gonna add a little V-raise here, okay? So again, small weight if you have it. V-raise looks just like it is, look just like it sounds. Like your arms will be coming up in a V, elbows soft, okay? Begin set Standing three. Standing soft, adding a little V-raise with that opposite arm, okay? Again, touching down if you need to with that leg that's being abducted or lifted. What the V-Raise does is works the anterior deltoid front of the shoulder. And you're keeping that elbow soft here, not going too high. Chest stays up. Nice. Woo! Compound movement, balance, hip Stop and glute. exercise. Delt. Great. All right, we've got one more set of these. Taking that break, make sure your shoulders are relaxed, head and neck nice and relaxed. Standing leg is soft, knee is soft. Here we go, lifting up, V raise off, chill forward. here. Slowly lower, good. Great, here's your exhale. Nice. Up. Good concentration, ladies. Woo! Where's your exhale? Slowly lower, chest stays up. Nice, almost there, almost there. Any side. Stop Any exercise and Fantastic. switch to the next station. All right, next up, we're gonna do a bent over row. So grabbing your little weights, whatever you've got. I like to put one foot in front of the other here, different ways to do this, but I like to offset it this way. So, like the old lawnmower days, shoulders are down, chest is open. One. Pulling those weights back, shoulders stay down. Thinking about pinching right behind those shoulder blades, slowly lowering. Slowly lowering. Focusing on the upper back here, postural muscles. Again, keeping that head and neck in a nice neutral position. Great. So we've got the front, Stop front side of the um, upper body, chest on the push-ups. Now we're getting the back side. Changing position of the feet, putting the other foot in front, making sure that knees are soft here, shoulders down, arms in front. Pulling back, squeezing those shoulders Begin right set up. two. Here's your exhale. Nice. Really important with that back side as we get older, chest tends to be overworked, which rounds the shoulders. So I always love to do a nice row here. 
You can do this with a band at home. You can use a towel. Stop exercise. Great. Shake it up. Well done. All right. Putting that other foot in front again. Head and neck nice and relaxed. Shoulders are down. Arms in front. Deep breath in. Begin set exhale. three. Pulling back. Slowly lower. Okay, keeping that chest open, squeezing behind you. Good. Keeping those posture muscles, upper back. Ah. Stop. Exercise. Great job, ladies. We got one more set of those. Look at my little cheat sheet here. Then we're going to head down to the mat for some fun. All right, other leg in front. Shoulders are down. Knees soft. Thinking about that core engagement. Here's your inhale. Begin Here's your set in four. Front. Exhale back. Final set of rows here, ladies. And exhale. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Shoulders are down. Nice. Almost there. Stop exercise. All right, let's give those arms a little break. Station. And we're going to do some ab work now and make sure I've got my ball here. Um, we don't need it at first, but all right, we're gonna start with a back leg V up. So you're gonna be flat on your mat. Begin set one. Legs in a 90 degree position here, engaging the abs, and then you're gonna reach up towards the toes and come back to 90. Up towards the toes, back to 90. So small crunch here. Keeping that back nice and flat. Abs stay engaged. There's your exhale. Stop exercise. Now, if you have a back that's sensitive and you're not, it's not really liking the crunches, feel free to do a windshield wiper here. Abs engaged, knees gently falling to one side and then the other. Okay? You can also do a dead lock set too. If you've got neck issues, okay? Otherwise, we're going to continue with the crunches. Focusing on your rectus abdominis there, main muscle group in the abs, right down the center. Now, if you want to make this a little more challenging, you keep those shoulder blades up the whole time, all right? Otherwise, if you need that break, you come down, okay? Stop exercise. Again, anything in the neck, feel free to go to our dead butt. Neck stays down, opposite arm and leg away from the body, okay? Here's our break. Relaxing head, neck, and shoulders. All right, knees up, set number three. Begin set three. Reach, and 90. All right, ladies, I hope you're really feeling those abs. I sure am. Woo! Slow and controlled, keeping the breathing. Almost to the break. Stop. All right. Exercise. For those of you doing the dead bug and the windshield wipers, you're still focusing on that core engagement, pulling that navel in. Okay. I've got one more set here. Woo! All right. Last set. Abs are engaged. No matter what exercise you're doing. Begin set and four. Here we go. Up. Slow and control. 
are feeling a little bit of quad engagement on that leg bend and extension as well. Just a little bonus. Almost there, ladies, pushing through. You can do it. Should be getting hard. Stop exercise Fantastic. and switch to the next well done, session. Ladies. Okay, if you've got a ball or a pillow to squeeze, that would be great. If you don't, don't worry about it. We're gonna do some bridges next. All right, so squeezing that ball or pillow, doing a little inner thigh engagement here, and really helps kind of tighten everything up. So, set focusing line. on core engagement from the beginning, squeezing the glutes, tucking that pelvis, coming up. When you come up, you're gonna squeeze that ball or pillow, hold, and we're gonna slowly lower one vertebrae at a time. Okay, so great lower body exercise here, good for the back, good for the core, and with that ball or pillow squeeze, you've got a little extra inner thigh there, squeezing the glutes, have hamstring and glutes engaged, slowly lower. All right, option here to bring the arms up over the shoulders if you want a little less stability. Stop, exercise. Means you're gonna have a little bit more core work on stabilizing. All right, second set, we're gonna stay up and just squeeze, pulse that ball, okay? So tucking the tailbone, coming up, squeezing those glutes right away, coming up. Arms up are optional. Begin set pulse two. Pulse squeezing the ball. So your glutes are tight, you're squeezing those inner thighs, abs are engaged. If your arms are up, your shoulders are down, they're not up, okay? Shoulders are down and relaxed. Arms can also be here, okay? Glutes, hammies, inner thighs, abs. Woo! Ah, great job, ladies. Woo! Breathing throughout. Nice. Almost there. Stop. Exercise. Excellent. All right. If you want a little variation, if you need something a little bit more challenging, we're going to do a single leg here. For those of you who don't want to do a single leg, please stay with the double leg. If you do want to do a single leg, we're gonna lose the ball. All right. Begin Still tucking set that tailbone, three. squeezing the glutes, putting one leg towards the ceiling. All right. And we're gonna hold there for a moment. If you want a little more of a challenge, you're gonna add a little pulse, pushing with that left leg or that bent leg, reaching that extended leg toward the ceiling. Again, only if your back is good, if you want more of a challenge. Otherwise, you're getting a lot just with the double leg. Keeping that squeeze going, okay? Squeezing the glutes, abs stay engaged, working the Stop hamstrings. Stop exercise. Excellent. All right, if you are doing the single leg, we're gonna switch sides. Another thing you can do if you want a variation that's double leg is just a little marching, okay? Otherwise, Begin single set leg, four. pulsing towards the ceiling. So in addition to the hamstring and glute work here, you're also getting a nice stretch to that extended leg while you're working hamstring and glute. You're squeezing that ball, you're still getting those inner thighs, squeezing those glutes, abs stay engaged. Last set of bridges, ladies. Woo! Let's finish strong here. Nice. Arms up if you like. Stop exercise here. and switch to the next Excellent. station. All right, our final exercise is going to be a side plank today. If you are not a side planker, you're going to do regular planks. Remember, you can do these on a bench, um, on something elevated, or you can do them on your knees on the ground, okay? If you're doing the side plank, elbows out of your shoulder. Begin set one. Starting on your knees for the basic side plank. You can extend that top leg if you like. I like to do arm up. Abs engaged. And a couple options here. We can do a leg lift and hold if you want that. Or we can do a little hip drop here. So you're getting that right side. All right, if you're feeling like this is kind of easy on your knee, we're gonna go ahead and extend those legs and I'll show you what that is next. Otherwise you're staying here. Stop, tight, abs tight, switching sides. If you're doing regular planks, 
You're gonna, again, take the break if you need it. Otherwise, feel free to go through. So the more advanced version, if you want something a little more challenging. Begin set going two. To straight leg, heels lined up with the elbow, abs engaged, feet are dorsiflex to get those quads firing, dorsiflex, abs engaged. I like to put the arm up. Again, if you want more of a challenge, you can add that little hip drop, either with straight legs or with a bent leg. Head and neck stays nice and neutral here. Woo. Nice. So working the sides here. Arm is working. Quads are working. Stop exercise. Breathing throughout. With the hip drop, it really accentuates that side work. And even if you're not doing the hip drop, still working that side. All right, final set. Get the position here. Elbows lined up with the heels. If you're doing a front plank and going Begin through. Begin set three. I lied. Penultimate set. Here we go. Nice. Little hip drop. And if you're thinking, oh, this still isn't that bad, go ahead and add a leg lift. All right? Hips down. Leg lift. Again, you can do that on your knees. Drop leg lift. Or with the straight legs. Nice, ladies. Well done. We're all Stop there. exercise. Right, we have one last set of planking. Woo! Okay. Again, here's your bent knee version. Elbow line with the knees. Abs engaged. Squeezing the glutes. Nice straight line. Straight leg version. Begin set four. Here we go. Great. Glutes are nice and tight. Option for the hip drop, option for the leg lift. Just give me options here. You can keep it nice and basic too. We're breathing. Last set, ladies, home stretch. Well done. Finishing strong, pushing through. Grateful for what our bodies are doing for us today. Working really hard here. Nice. Woo. Stop exercise. Excellent My job, ladies. Is now complete. Well done. I wish I could see you all, but thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great day. Make sure you keep those walks up outside. Keep that cardio up and stay safe. That's my water. Okay. Thank you. Yay. Hey. Um, we've unmuted everybody. Um, every now and then we see something which is sort of fun to look at when we're uh, monitoring the videos. And uh, I'm like, I'm going to zoom this up to the camera. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up. Oh no! This is our fearless leader, Carla. And for weights, he's using a bottle of Chianti and a jar of pasta sauce. Hey. I knew someone was going to catch that.